The climate crisis is the biggest challenge that we have, but it's also our biggest opportunity to come together and build a better world. Our next honoree is a 19-year-old indigenous climate activist who connects the dots between climate change, class, and gender, Gia Bastida. My name is Gia Bastida. I'm 19 years old, and I'm a climate justice activist. My parents met at the first Earth Summit in 1992, so you could say it's in my veins, but obviously I chose this path for myself. My dad is Otomi, which is an indigenous group in, in Mexico. I was raised with a philosophy of reciprocity, of taking care of Mother Earth because Mother Earth takes care of us. Growing up, I just absorbed everything that they were saying, everything that they were doing. Up until this day, they're still fighting to make whatever community they're in a better place. And that was really inspirational for me. Spaces like this is exactly what I want more of in New York. Being here in Little Island shows me that the future that we're trying to imagine is possible because it's a way of incorporating more green spaces into the city. In 2015, my hometown suffered from flooding. That was the moment that pushed me over the edge of, it's not gonna happen by the end of the century. It's already happening right now. I think that all of the youth movement is thinking that. You know, we're seeing what's happening around us and we're not seeing our government doing enough or companies doing enough or society doing enough. It was not enough to get involved in, in local politics. And that's when Greta Thunberg called for the first global climate strike. The day of the strike, 600 kids, which is half my school, walked out with me. After that, I came together with different organizers from around the city and we created Fridays for Future NYC. And the biggest climate strike we organized was the September 20th climate strike with 300,000 people just in New York City. We really have to step up and demand action because it's our futures we're fighting for and our presence as well. And now that I'm in college, activism for me is being a climate communicator. The only way in which we're gonna get strong enough to mitigate the worst effects of the climate crisis, which is what we all are trying to do, is by changing our culture to a culture of climate consciousness. To be honored as a vital voice is really special, especially being an immigrant. Sometimes you don't really feel like you found your place or that you have a say in the place where you're in. How do you get City Hall to pass climate emergency? The fact that I was part of all of those efforts and that that is recognized validates a lot of my feelings about belonging. Just being alongside such accomplished, amazing women also made me feel really empowered. I think a vital voice is a courageous voice because it takes courage to tell the truth. My advice for someone who wants to get into climate activism is to show up because showing up is 50% of the work. There is no one in the movement who doesn't want more people because we need more people. We need everyone to be part of the solution. The climate crisis is the biggest challenge that we have, but it's also our biggest opportunity to come together and build a better world.